But yeah. hey, we've got an extra special treat coming up next. We've got Laura and Rick Hall doing musical improv with friends. Let's call the stage Laura and Rick Hall. Hi, everybody. We are so excited to be here and be part of Compass Improv Fest. Yes, thanks for having us back. So we're here. Uh, we're here with some friends of ours. Bob Baker is the one who got me, who got us here. Uh, and Bob and I wrote a book together. You wrote a book. We did. I've, about, I've, I've read a book about the musician side of improv. And then I'm also working on some videos, teaching, I'm coaching, I'm teaching. And it's a whole new world online. We're doing all of it. That's right. That's right. And I have a podcast called So Says Rick because I've been doing a lot of storytelling. So if you get a chance to check out my podcast, that'd be great. We're in Los Angeles right now, but I have a farm in Illinois, just about an hour and a half away from St. Louis. So we really feel connected to you guys. But <laughs> meantime, can we introduce the cast? Let's start with uh, with Teresa, please. I'm Teresa, please. I'm Bob Baker. I'm Karen Schubert, and I look like I got swallowed by Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Seifert. Okay, Excellent. the first thing we're going to do is a line at a time song, and uh, Laura will be playing for us for that. And I need the suggestion from uh, from our audience of a dangerous occupation, please. Beekeeper. 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 Okay. okay. Bill likes to keep bees them in his backyard he wears a head net cause he's always on guard but he's not been stung at least not so far but his luck is running out and he'll keep them in a jar Keeping man making honey in a jar. He's a beekeeping man. You know he'll go far. He's a beekeeping man keeping money in a jar. He's a beekeeping man. You know he'll go far. Those bees are mad. Then they came after him. Dung again and again. It was looking real grim. So Phil started to run. He ran so far. Didn't watch where he was going. And he wrecked his car. Yeah, he did. He got killed by the bees. That's the way to go. It's the way to end the bee show. He got killed. is called my tony and we are going to uh pitch different songs so from our audience right now i need your two favorite letters of the alphabet p w okay p as in peter and w as in walter so here we go all right guys i'm glad you're here um we got a very small grant from the very small theater for a very small show to do uh, Thursday at 11.32 a.m. I hope you guys are all available. Now, here's the thing. Since they have a very small budget, they could only buy two letters for the marquee, and it was a P and a W. So we got to do something that starts with those two letters. So pitch me some ideas. Who's got something? Rick, go. Puss and warts. <laughs> Sounds gross. Okay, Bob. Uh, paranoid waitresses. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I kind of like that, Eric. Preppy walruses. <laughs> Go ahead, Teresa. Placid you know I, water. 
Placid waters. You know what? I, I'm going to go with uh, with preppy walruses. Preppy walruses. I, I see potential here. So Eric, pitch it. Okay, so the story of preppy walruses is that it takes place at a walrus high school. And all this walrus, this nerdy walrus, wants to do is fit in, but he feels bad because his tusks are so small. He so badly wants to be a preppy walrus. Finally, he becomes a preppy walrus and he realizes that he didn't want to be like them the whole time because they're not true friends. Okay, all right. Um, so we're going to start uh, toward the beginning. Uh, Teresa and Bob, I want you guys to be um, two of the preppy people, walruses, I'm sorry, walruses, that are um, talking about their social life and what they're doing. And uh, maybe you see uh, the preppy walrus, uh, uh, what was his name, uh, uh, Joe, Joe, we'll call him Joe, and, um, and teasing him perhaps a little bit. Okay, all right, uh, Teresa, you start. Who does that guy he is? Splashing around like he owns the place, but he's new. And I don't like his face. He's got snaggle tusks. I don't like it, he stinks a lot. I don't like it. He can't sit with us at lunch because he'll make the fish stick stink. He'll make our fish stick stink. Don't let him sit here because he's going to make our fish stick stink right here. No, Joe, you've got to go. All right, Bob, and, and the response uh, also kind of tag along on this theme here yeah this is uh this is the response of the actual wal walrus uh, yeah, this is joe's point of view i sit here in the cafeteria trying to fit in with all the other kids but they're looking at me funny like i don't i don't fit in no no I'm just trying to sit over here Trying to not look so tall Because my walrus tucks They are so small So small Why do they have to judge me? Why do they have to look down on me? I'm just a regular walrus guy like me Things are small, but I just want to fit in. I just, I just want to be a regular walrus preppy guy. Yes. Oh, great. oh that's great. Okay. Uh, so we're going to skip forward a little bit. You know, everything's kind of coming down, coming together. Eric, I need you to do the song uh, where the walrus realizes that he will probably never uh, make the track team because he doesn't have legs. I need to feel it. Well, I have never been fast. Everything I try, well, it never lasts. I just want to join the team and give it a spin. Because I know that if I did, well, maybe I would win. But it's so hard to run when you've got slippers. It's so hard to run when you've got slippers. It's so hard to run when you got flippers and all you can do is scoot. Mm. Mm. That, that got 
me right there. That got me right there. Ooh. All right. All right. Now we need the big show stopping finish. Think high school musical people. Okay. Rick and Laura, think high school musical. We come together at the end. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets along. Everybody accepts each other for who they are and how they are. Okay. So give me the uh, great accepting finale at the end where Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Hey, you kids, you weren't really my friends. Early on, I thought I must be friends with you. But then I realized what really matters. I'm not so fast. I've got a small bladder. I have pus and warts. I had to get it in. I'm the kind of walrus who doesn't really fit in anywhere, but I don't care. I'm my own walrus, my tiny tusk hang out. This is just who I am. I'm a walrus. I'm a walrus. I'm a walrus. And <laughs> we got a winner. Woo. Woo. Wow. And that no. was my pony. I'm sorry, I had to get pus and wall in there. Uh, yeah, it was worth it. It was, yeah, <laughs> totally. That was great. All right, so we're going to play a game called uh, Your Elimination Blues. And in this game, each player is going to say a line that rhymes with your suggestion. And it's an elimination game, so if they don't rhyme, if they repeat a rhyme, or if I'm just tired of them, we're going to make them be... Out of here. Do it with me, live studio audience. If they are out, they are out of here. Out of here. Okay. So what I need from you is a suggestion. A one syllable word, please. Shout it out or chat it. Top. Top? Yes. Angie? Top. Okay. Players, your suggestion is top. The first player, Bob, will sing the word top, but everyone else has to rhyme. T-O-P, top. Players, are you ready? Yes. yes. Begin. I don't like bottoms, but I like the top. I like bunnies because they hop. I got caught speeding by a cop. I'm a farmer and I got a great crop. Got the top blues. I've got I wanted to keep going, but I had to stop. I look like a piece of popcorn that needs to pop. I fell on the floor. I fell with a plop. <laughs> <laughs> I like to feed my pig some big old slop. I got that top blues. I've got that top blues. I go to Amazon, that's where I shop. I don't have anything, so let's do kids bop. <laughs> oh, Teresa. That was a really great try, uh, but Karen, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what that was. You are definitely out of here. Well, yeah. I was going to do my favorite improv game is Zip Zap Zop. I was all set. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you do it? Okay, right. bonus points. There are no points. You have bonus points. Um, okay, so uh, what we need now, I think this is too easy for them. Let's give them a two-syllable word this time. Oh. Lizard. No. Lizard is your suggestion. Oh, I, um, yeah, rhyme lizard. I will accept it if you only rhyme the last syllable, but don't test me. <laughs> okay, so this time we're starting with... Uh. Rick. Oh no, you with Rick. All right, yeah, you're right. And and it's lizard. And do I say lizard? I say lizard. You right? can say yeah, lizard. I, I, you can say pretty, lizard. Don't make me call you out. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're gonna say lizard. Yes. Begin. 
He's just like a snake. He's really a lizard. <laughs> okay. My favorite stand-up is Eddie Izzard. <laughs> Got caught in the snow in a great big blizzard. I eat some chicken livers and a gizzard. About that lizard blues. Got that creepy crawly lizard blues. I like Harry Potter because I'm a big fan of of a wizard. <laughs> I then I make up a word. I think it's slizzard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Slizzard is not actually in the most recent uh, Oxford English Dictionary, Bob. So you are. Out of here. All right, we have a showdown. Oh, it's between uh -oh. In the hall residence. Okay. This is going to start cause a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> you can clean. I want a clean fight. Now, uh, what I need from you, though, is a suggestion of another two syllable word, please. Question. I'd love that. That is an excellent question. What is your suggestion? <laughs> question is your suggestion and i want exact rhymes please you are you can do this all right are you ready this time starting with rick begin we asked for a suggestion we got a question i like my favorite part of speech is an interjection <laughs> I have some bowel problems in digestion. <laughs> I think my foot has a big old infection. I got that question blues. Ooh. Got that question blues. I'm playing real hard. Yeah, I'm not messing. <laughs> okay, Teresa, you have to go. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, Listen, we had we had infection, we had indigestion, I think congestion was coming. It's just too gross. I'm sorry. Rick, you are out of here. Oh, yeah. Laura wins. Because we need you for this next game. That worked out well, didn't it? Heart <laughs> is a question. Barely. What ho? So, so we have one more game for you, but before that, I just want to say a couple of things. I want to thank Compass. Uh, Compass, I'm sorry, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. My, apparently myself and Mike Newman pronounce it Compass, and it's Compass. Compass Improv. Let's give a round of applause for putting this together, this awesome festival. A lot of work went into this. Um, also want to thank Rick and Laura Hall for agreeing to do this. Um, we're, we're starting a new improv group called Pust and Warts. Yeah. <laughs> sneaking that in. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we'll thank my 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 cohorts here from St. Louis. We we do monthly shows, uh, and so and when and hopefully we'll be able to twist the hall's arm and maybe do a longer show at some point in the future. I'm putting you on the spot there. Um, so thank you all. We're gonna do uh, a, a something called "I Like My Lover," which is kind of a musical joke round. Um, you'll see quickly, pretty quickly how this goes. Players, you know what to do. Raise your hand if you have an idea. And I, what I need is a suggestion of something that you would find for sale at the dollar store at the dollar store pizza cutter pizza cutter is our suggestion i like my lover like i like my pizza cutter she slices my pie My lover, like I like my pizza cutter, covered in cheese. I like my lover, like I like my pizza cutter, on sale on aisle four. <laughs> <laughs> like my lover, like I like my pizza cutter, you can only clean it with one of those scratchy pads. <laughs> I like my lover, like I like my pizza cutter. Only deals with really thick crust. <laughs> I think it's time to get another suggestion. Yes. Let's get another suggestion for uh, something you would find in your garage, perhaps. Lawnmower. Law <laughs> Is that Mike Newman's froggy voice there? You zip it. Lawnmower. Okay. okay. <laughs> Lawnmower it is. <laughs> I 
like I like my lawnmower. Easy to sit on for three hours. <laughs> like my lover, like I like my lawnmower. Bag in my grass. I like my lawnmower, love her like I like my lawnmower. She trims my grass. I love her like I like my lawnmower in the garage. Ah. <laughs> well, I like my lover like I like my lawnmower borrowed from my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I like my lover like I like my lawnmower four stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Like my lover, like I like my lawnmower, full of gas. <laughs> Let's get, a, get another one. How about something, some sort of a tool that you would use for a home improvement? What's a tool you would use for that? Hammer. Hammer is what I heard. Hammer. <laughs> My lover, like I like my hammer, getting nailed. <laughs> like my lover, like I like my hammer, accompanied by Thor. <laughs> but what else? Huh? Like my lover, like I like my hammer. Easy to handle. I like my lover, like I like my hammer. <laughs> Likes a good pounding. Rick and Laura Hall do musical improv with friends. Oh, thank you guys for coming out. That was a blast. God, thanks, thanks for everybody. Having us. Oh my gosh. Oh, my wow. That was a lot of fun. Wow, what an honor. Wow, those guys are amazing. Yeah, no, that was that was a blast.